You are now listening to Mike's Opinion. Logic Unleashed. Yeah. Mm. Come on. Come on. Mike's Opinion Podcast. Yeah. Uh, the Mike's Opinion Podcast. Yeah. Come on. The Mike's Opinion Podcast. Mm. Come on. How you doing? You doing all right? I hope you're doing all right. I'm doing all right. I'm hanging in there one day at a time. Summer has begun. I, I, I only want to get my hopes up. Has begun to subside here in Texas. It's not going to be 107 degrees tomorrow. It's only going to be about 100. And then the next day it's going to be 99. And then it's going to be 98. So I'm hoping. Here's hoping. Right? Because you know fall is my weather. But you know I always want to know off the rip. How are you doing? How are you doing? You doing alright? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. I really do. I hope you're prepared. So only a couple things I want to talk about this episode really quick. Um, it's been a long day and I'm tired. I'm ready to go take a nap or go to sleep. I sleep in like four, five hour increments, you know, here and there. I might be up for 20, sleep for four. Up for 18, sleep for three, get up. You know, I, I, I and I know if people say, yo, you need to get you a solid eight hours. Well, that hadn't happened and I don't know for years. So maybe one day my battery just going to fall out, you know. But my body will be like, yo, go lay down. Does your body, is your body like that? You know, especially when you get long in the chin. You know, it's summertime, so, you know, always keep it the baby face. But as soon as fall kick in, the facial hair will be back. The facial hair will be back to some degree. Shout outs and big ups to all of my, my, my beard dudes, my lace front honeys, the wigs on top of your head. I just don't have the tolerance for it. It's too hot. It's too hot. I seen dude the other day at the grocery store, yo. And I just happened to look over at the right time and something crawled out of his beard. It wasn't a big bug and it was just a little bug. I was like, mm, I just turned and minded my business and kept on going and getting what I was getting from the store. But I just, I just happened to turn and I turned. It wasn't nothing there. And then it kind of dug out of his beard. He had a big old beard. Shout out to my beard dudes. And, you know, I've done it. I've done it. I've done, I just, I, no, no. When we evolved from supposedly primates, right? Primates are covered in hair. Our evolution involved us losing that hair. So by my logic, the less hair we have, the more evolved we have. That's why when you hear the aliens come down, you hear people that have had encounters with aliens, they ain't got no clothes on, they ain't got no hair, they ain't got no ears, you know, so hey, these are just thoughts. They're just thoughts. They're my thoughts, how I think about some shit sometimes. But I got on the links to fit it. First of all, from New York, so it's genuine, never fronting, ever born and raised, boogie down Bronx, Harlem. Stand up. Those are my people. That's where I'm from. So I could wear that. Sometimes I'll be wanting to see dudes with the New York fitted on and be like, yo, you from there? But no, I don't do that. You got the right to wear whatever gap you want to wear, even if you from, you know, Wisconsin or some shit, you know. And I ain't got nothing against people from Wisconsin. I've been in Wisconsin. You should date this honey. Anyway, I'm not going there. But um, how you doing? Doing all right? I hope you're doing okay. You know, uh, last episode or episode before that, I briefly, you know, talked about the upcoming season, fall, which I love, and the holidays that come along with that. And it made me think about this topic, which I'm going to get to in a second, which is why I got all my hip hop gear. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and you know, I would like to have started the show. That beat is fat. That beat is fat, no doubt. But I've been always looking for new beats. And, you know, the budget is slim. Support the show so I can buy some beats. 
It's free for you to listen and to watch. It is not free for me to make. I need some beats. If you got a source for some dope free beats, then I'm not going to have to get a copyright strike or put in the information and all that. Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com. Hit me up. Um, email me. You can find this, you know, if you're watching on YouTube down below or you can, if you're watching, uh, listening on DSP. Um, it's in the show notes. My email, Mike's Opinion Show at gmail.com or hit me up on any of the socials. You know, X, formerly known as Twitter, um, Facebook, uh, TikTok, IG, all of them joints. I'm out, I'm out there. I'm out there. So I just, I want to start this, though, by giving big ups to the Democratic Party and the Democratic National Convention. Yesterday was day two. Barack and Michelle came out there and said they things. And, you know, I, I'm just going to be transparent. And I think I've said this before in other episodes. I agree with values and topics, you know, and um, things I'm trying to think of another word. Uh, issues that both parties have. Okay? Liberals, conservatives, Democrats, the Republicans, even some of the independents. I think they all, in part, offer some good ideas. Unfortunately, those ideas don't come together. You know, partisanship is a thing. And um, I, I just, kumbaya, can't we all just come together? Can't we all just get along, in the words of Rodney King? Is Rodney King dead? And, re and please, I mean, don't, no disrespect. If Rodney King has passed away, I think he has. May he rest in peace. But um, Michelle Obama says some things straight to Donald Trump. And it was so funny because, you know, Barack and Michelle, it's evident that they black. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. I mean that they in touch with the soul that us black people bring, that we have, that makes us different, how we connect it to the, to the rhythm of the planet, you know? So, um, and she says, you know, somebody better tell them. I was like, what? What? Yo, listen. Um, it's only day two. And I really haven't been watching. I'm just watching snippets and highlights. But it was, I had to check that out. And they just so classy with a touch of ghetto. Like just a touch. But the education. The, the 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 like I said the sophistication the classiness uh it's it's there and it shines through um the Obamas is looking just fabulous looking fabulous so um enough about the politics we're gonna hear nothing about that between now and November and probably past November into January February who knows how that's gonna go right but today I wanted to, you know, like I said, I was thinking about the holidays and I thought I was thinking about New Year's Eve. I'm really not making any plans as of yet because it's August, right? It's still August. But it's good to plan ahead. And I got to thinking. I flipped through some channels if I'm at the crib. And there's only two main ones. Dick Clark's Rockin' Eve, and I think um, Carson Daly got one, I think. But I was thinking I ain't never seen an all-hip-hop New Year's Eve. Now, maybe it was and I missed it, but I'm talking about a nationally televised staple that's going to be rocking every year, you know? They got the Latin Grammys. Why we can't have the hip-hop New Year's Eve? We want to separate everything. 
and there's a lot of hip hop acts that play different places, and you know they get on a couple of them joints, get on the um the the two main joint. Dick Clark used to have it for a whole, you know, for a long time, and then see Ryan Seacrest. I think you know he's like the the modern day Dick Clark, right? Got his hands into all kind of stuff. I think he's getting ready to do the Wheel of Fortune. That's a 30, 40 year gig, right? So, um, but would you like to see a hip hop New Year's Eve? Is hip hop grown enough? Mature enough, complete enough to hold down and produce, I don't know, what is it, two, three, four hour long show every year in great fashion, in, 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 in elegant street fashion. But hip hip hop just ain't street. Now, I was there when it was born. I was a participant and an eyewitness when it was birthed. So, facts. Just like I'm, you looking at the man that started Blunts. I was the first person to do Blunts. Listen to my episode. Find that episode. I started blunts. I argue anybody that fact. It's a fact. Facts. Um, but you know, do you think we could get that done the right way? A lot of people had they they um their opinions about the fifty. You know, when hip hop turned 50 to show some people, I know my man KRS boogie down BDP, he wasn't really with it, you know. But I'm like, yo, we needed to do that just because you know, so many people sacrificed their life just so black people could do things, so hip hop can do things. And I understand your stance, KRS one, but um, sometimes you got to set your personal beliefs and and, and 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 values aside if it if it serves a greater good you know so that's really what I wanted to know so you know I always do research for the episodes and I was like hey what else hip hop could we do what about a hip hop hall of fame there is one check that out search hip hop hall of fame and it, it looks it it is is yeah it's promising. I like what I saw. Hip hop Hall of Fame, you know what I'm saying. But um, what else could hip hop do that music has done? Right? Do we need a hip hop Grammys? Like I said, they got the Latin Grammys. Latin, you know, they they took their little side path off for a minute just for them, and. I don't know if they're ostracized from the regular Grammys. But I would like to see an all hip hop, all hip hop New Year's Eve show. Somebody tell somebody to tell somebody that can make decisions. Because that's what I'm used to talking to decision makers, the bosses. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but and I know look mm, right now the song Sweet by Common is coming to, to mind you know and, and it's just like you know I, I'm a pioneer I'm an old head so um, I don't feel old I feel sleepy right now but you know I just it's easy for me to say a lot of the hip hop produced out here right now is trash. But a lot of hip hop out here right now is not made for me. It should be. It should be an evolution of hip hop. But there's light at the end of that tunnel. And I say that because MC Light is dropping new music. LL Cool J is dropping new music. Some of these 
established pioneer artist. I don't want to say coming out the shadows or having a rebirth or have set aside they fear that, you know, everything has to be catered and created for the youth. But for whatever reason, some of these older established artists are back in the game, creating good music. I follow Light on the, um, big up to uh, uh, MC Light on her socials and, you know, um, she's responded to, you know, just like some of the stuff that I've liked and commented on, but she be in the studio, you know, saying, hey, listen to this, you, you know, giving little snippets and it's fire. It's heat. And I'm not biased. Good music is just good music. And these mumbling, mm, incoherent, still ain't talking about nothing, but what drugs and liquids they take in, how much money I got and you ain't got, how many chicks you bring down, how many, how many girlfriends of other dudes they bone in. Y'all ain't talking about nothing substantive to me, to me. It's not a, there's no positivity. There's nothing that really make you think. So many, it seems, it seems, because it really can't be, can it? It can't be. But so many of the youth just seem lost. And I like, you know, when you hear the old cat say, back in my day, yes, yes, there was a difference. I challenge you. Pick any decade from the time hip hop, I mean, any year from the time hip hop started. But let's 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 bring it into some form of establishment. So let's say from the 90s. The top 10 hip hop songs in 1990, 1991, 1992 versus the top 10 hip hop songs in the last 3 years. 2020, well 2024 is not over. So let's say 2020, 2021, 2022 and 2023. And look at the subject matter. Look at the lyrics. Now, I'm not saying there was no gangster hip hop and killing and, 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 you know, but the glorifying of the drug dealing and all of that, you know, anyway, anyway, is different. A lot of it is not trash. Some of it is very creative. Still, and I bumped to some of it. Even though it's not made for me, it's made for 14, 15, 16, 18, you know, 20 years old, get turned up, do what they do. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm not hating on the youth. I was that. Would not want to be it again. Except for the physical aspects. They say youth is wasted on the young. And I agree. So the next iteration of Earth or planet, I don't want to be Benjamin Button. But I think you should get stronger and your body should become more youthful as you age. Stronger and more vibrant and more vital. Because when you get older, that's not the case. Now, I've been up for a long time, so I'm sleepy right now, but I know I still go hard. I still go hard. And unlike a bunch of my partners, fortunately, knock on wood, I don't have no ailments. In terms of like knees, sometimes my back hurt a little bit. But, you know, I, I, I know people, a couple of my partners, and had hip replacement. They bionic and shit. You know, and in my age, I still don't have none of that. I'm still capable to run up the stairs, shoot hoops with my son and do all of that. So I'm fortunate and I do what I can to take care of my body, um, exercise. I don't drink pretty much anything but water, maybe some a smoothie with fruit and vegetables in it. And um, I try not to eat that fried food, but ooh, mm, it's good. But I try to limit that. You know, wifey definitely... She serves up the good stuff. So I just want to know what you think. And maybe the word will get out there so we have enough time to produce and put out a hip-hop 
New Year's Eve show. Who would you like to see? Let me see. I'd like to see people from all over. I mentioned Comet, Run DMC, uh, Cardi B. Uh, I don't know all the people, all the all of the people. I don't think you know who D half or who Dini is dead. Uh, I mean, um, I don't know. Would you want to see Drake and Lil Wayne and Kendrick Lamar and all of those guys? J. Cole? I don't know. Definitely my man Uncle L on there. You know, just all hip hop, all types of hip hop. That would be a wonderful, wonderful thing. So my answer to the question I asked earlier, is hip hop complete enough, mature enough, um, old enough? Is hip hop complete enough to do a nationally televised once a year New Year's Eve show? And those shows, like I said, go on for, I don't know, two, three, four hours. So I want to know what you think. I think it would be a great idea. And we could let hip hop be the core. A lot of people equate hip hop to just black people, Latino people. But no, let it be hip hop is the main thing, the core. And let's let's let everybody get down and participate and show them how peaceful and wonderful and creative and fantastic the genre is. Yeah, that's really all I had today. Let me know. Chime in feedback. Let me know what you think. Also support the show. Like, share, comment, follow, subscribe, do all that right now as soon as this show finishes um it really helps it really helps the show if you can contribute financially it would be greatly appreciated links in the show notes i got paypal cash app um, venmo there's also a gofundme out there support the show um be greatly greatly appreciated and as always i hope you are okay i hope you are okay I hope you're doing better than okay. I hope you're good. I hope you're on the pathway to great. And if you are already great, then become astounding. Be spectacular. Huh? You could always strive for more. Right? And then spread that. Spread that. Touch somebody. Boom. Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. I will see you next week. I'm Mike. And this is the Mike's Opinion Podcast. Thanks again for listening and for watching. Thank you so much for listening to Mike's opinion. Logic Unleashed. Unleashed.